Hey everyone, I'm Brugley, and today I want to explain a backrooms level that is absolutely trippy to be in. It's an infinite maze of mirrors and corridors that you can get lost in. The level is level 228, and let me tell you, this is a classic liminal level. Without further ado, let me get into the explanation, shall we? So level 228 doesn't actually have a classification graphic, which I find pretty interesting. But if I personally were to give it one, I would give it a class undetermined because of its unknown effects and its unknown features. And there's a lot of them, let me tell you. The level itself takes the appearance of a sprawling mirror maze with very strange lighting on all sides. The lighting behind the mirrors and around the mirrors can take any color possible. And the mirror maze sort of looks like one of those you'd find at a carnival or a fair. The maze itself is actually not that hard to escape on the surface. It just might take a few days to get to the end of it, just simply because of the size of the level. The issue is, the level's effects might just make that a lot harder than it seems. Trust me, it does make it a lot harder than it seems. And you'll see what I'm referring to later on in the video. Now, under the first paragraph of the level's documentation, there's a sentence that says, quote, The level's also pretty stable, so it's a good place to rest for a bit, too. Quiet, too. Just don't go too deep until you're ready for it. End quote. So from that sentence, we get the fact that the level is actually pretty calm and pretty quiet, with no entities running at you. Well, kinda. But that last part of the sentence, that last part where it says, don't go too deep, Gee, I wonder, what dangers could that imply? So if you do end up going too deep into the mirror maze too fast, some interesting things will begin to unfold before your eyes. Your reflection will start to change ever so slightly in the mirrors. It'll be really small things at first, like the logo on your shirt will change, the color of your pants will change, the shoelaces that you're wearing will change, and small things like that will begin to look different in your own reflection inside of the mirrors in the maze. Now, if you've ever been in a mirror maze in real life, you know that there's like an infinite amount of reflections of you. So every single move you make, even just the shake of a finger, the mirrors will start to reflect that action over and over and over again with a slight delay each time. The further away the reflection, the slower the mirror will react. So when you're at that point in this level, the mirrors will begin to change those slight things about you. Even deeper on into the maze, the mirrors will begin to warp your reflection even more. Your face will begin to distort into weird shapes, and your hair will start to look longer or shorter and your body will start to show more limbs in each reflection, more fingers, more toes, and eventually you'll start to become more unrecognizable. Then there's a quote after that paragraph that says, quote, but they're all you. You'll know if you look into their eyes, you'll see the same thoughts, the same hopes, the same pain, end quote. So essentially this mirror maze begins to warp your reflection into something that is beginning to look inhuman. It's looking less and less like you every second you're stuck here. You'll still be able to see that it's you if you look up into the eyes of the reflection, but it's still uncanny. Now at this point in the maze, what is real and what is a reflection will start to blur together. The lines between reality and reflection become even thinner, and every single twitch you make gets echoed a million times over and over again, to the point where you don't even know if you are the reflection and the thing in the reflection is you, or if the other thing's real and you're fake. It's hard to tell. Even further on, the reflections might show you as a wretch, or another entity, or even another person that doesn't even look like you. These reflections will begin to have a slight delay in the moves that you make, giving you this uncanny, creepy feeling. As of writing this video, it's unknown if these things in the reflections are actually you, or if there's a real entity or another human-type thing behind the mirrors, just like imitating whatever you're doing. Whatever the case may be, this is where the mental effects of the level really start to take a hold of you. Even deeper into the maze, some of the mirrors will not even show a reflection. No matter how long you stare at it, no matter what you do in front of it, there is no reflection at all. This is said to be extremely bad for wanderers' minds due to the derealization that it might give. You know, every mirror you've looked into in real life, you've seen yourself. And the fact that you're literally looking into a mirror and nothing is reflecting back, it'll just make you feel not real. Now, if you somehow make it through all of what I just talked about, all of that, 
you'll make it to the deepest part of the level. It's not quite the middle part, because the middle is where the exit is, but this is the deepest part that can be explored. This part is very distorted and confusing for anyone that comes here, because at this point, the mirrors here will begin to change into windows, and you can look into these windows, and you'll see other windows and mirrors and TV screens and puddles, and literally any object that has a reflection, you'll be able to see it through these mirror window things. So it pretty much just opens up this huge infinite area that can be looked into. All of these reflections will be showing your face, and your face will be looking back at you. From every single angle, you'll be looking at yourself, to the point where the level begins to make you think you're the reflection, and your actual body isn't even real. Now, if you don't let yourself go crazy, and you somehow make it through all that and keep going, you'll begin to enter the center of the level. Now, a letter from the author about the center of the level reads as follows. When I looked into this mirror, I saw nothing but myself. Everything about myself. My flaws, my hopes, my fears, my shames, my secrets, my successes, my failures. All of it reflected back at me in an impartial reflection. We tell ourselves a lot of lies, and this mirror stripped me of mine. It laid me bare with nowhere to hide. I don't know how long I was there, teetering on the edge between human and wretch finally coming to terms with the despair in my heart. If you're ready, and you want to understand, look into the mirror. I'll be waiting. Find me." End quote. So that's just not horrifyingly derealization uh, crisis at all, right? That's just completely normal. So try not to look into the reflections in this level at all, especially once you get deeper. You know, maybe at the beginning, the level's, you know, a calm mirror maze. You might be able to look at it there, but once you get deeper and these weird warped figures begin looking back at you and you can't even tell what's real and what's you from what's in the mirrors, don't even look at yourself. Just look straight at the ground and follow the path. To enter the level, it doesn't say. So that actually might be a good thing because now you don't know how to get yourself trapped here, but it also could be a bad thing because you might accidentally come here and you don't know what to avoid. But if you do get sent here and you want to escape, the only way you can escape is you can find a random placed door among these mirrors. And the door itself will be labeled 149. You have to then open that door and you'll be on the actual level 149. It's, it's that simple. Now, speaking of 149, it's actually a completely safe paradise, actually. It's, it's completely normal. There's no dangers here. So maybe it's actually worth it to try to come to this mirror maze. That way you can get to the paradise of level 149. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this classic liminal level. I think mirror mazes are a great concept, and I've really actually surprised that none of them have been turned into a level like this before, so I'm glad I got to do this one. Check out my third channel, Spoogly, below if you're interested in more internet horror, internet ARGs, analog stuff, vanishings, crimes, and all that sort of thing. That's all I do over there. And I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers over there by the end of the year. If you want to help me out, I would appreciate it. Um, I'll give you a cookie or something if you do. Thank you so much for all that you do for me. I love and appreciate you all. You are the best fans. Tell somebody you love them today because life is too short not to. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video.